Hello everybody and welcome to my initial tutorial on the Winji Resolve AI features and how you can profit from them as an FPV pilot. Let's open up the Winji Resolve and import the clip you want to process into the Media tab. If you just want to stick 100% to the tutorial, you can download my clip from the link in the video description. This clip was by the way shot with Chris Taucher, multiple stand-up champion just before Christmas last year. So let's go! Throw it into your timeline, remove the sound by holding down the option key, mark it and then delete. Hit the play button to watch the clip. What you can see is that the subject of interest is pretty centered in the frame on the beginning, but tends to drift to the right hand side just before doing his turn. This can look very bad after cropping the portrait and will be hard to work out manually by keyframing. To see how this would look, just hit the preferences sign on the bottom right hand side of the screen and set your timeline resolution to 1080 by 1920, which is 9 by 16 compared to before 16 by 9. Use whatever frame rate you like. I'll just use 30. Switch to the presets and save it for future use. As you can see, the video frame is now expected to be in portrait mode and the clip is gated to the width of the window. When we now mark the clip and jump into Inspector Depth, we can resize the footage so that it perfectly fits the window and then play it back. The right hand side drift is now much more prominent and to be honest doesn't look good. So what we can do about it without having a ton of keyframing work. Let's mark the clip, jump into the inspector tab, open up smart reframing and choose reference point from the drop down menu. Now you can mark your object or in this case the subject you want to, you want to center and hit reframe. This will take some time as the neural engine is analyzing your frames to do its job. When it's done, we can review what it came up with. Looks pretty neat in my opinion, considering it was first try. When we look deeper into it, we can see that in the germ is some wobbling, which we can of course get rid of by different approaches. For the sake of a short tutorial, I'll choose an efficient approach by stabilizing the reframing result. So we open up the color tab, hit Stabilize, choose Translation from the drop-down menu and click Stabilize. Now the wobble should be smoothed out a little more. If you don't like the outcome, you can smooth the keyframes itself by clicking the symbol on the clip and just use Smooth rather than Linear Curves. If you don't have access to the studio version of Resolve, you can simply reframe manually in Spectre tab using position and zoom, but this will be shown in another video. So stay tuned.